Hello, everyone. Welcome to the OpenShift release and roadmap update, Amsterdam 2023 edition. My name is uh, Vanessa Martini. I am an observability product manager at Red Hat working in OpenShift, and this is my colleague. Hi, I'm Naina Singh, and I'm the pro product manager in the OpenShift view. Welcome to the session. Great, so let's take a look at the agenda for today. First, we will talk about our strategy, the Red Hat Open Hybrid Cloud. Second, we will deep dive into our core values, open source and partnerships being at the heart of what we do. After that, we will talk about our vision and priorities as we work towards consolidating our multi-cluster platform. As a user, no matter how many clusters you decide to deploy, you have the opportunity to zoom in individual clusters and zoom out. So stay tuned for the roadmap around observability and our multi-cluster layer, OpenShift Platform Plus. And then we will wrap up the presentation with a sneak peek into the near future. So as many of you might already, already know, uh, OpenShift is comprised by so many different components and services that include and make up the experience. We have grouped them here in four main areas, which are telco and edge, managed services, core platform and developer tools, as well as hybrid cloud experience and OpenShift Platform Plus. So if you want to hear more about some key highlights across all these different four areas, stay tuned also. But let's get started with our strategy and how we can help you optimize the scope of your IT organization. But first thing first, a few words about OpenShift. Red Hat OpenShift is a unified platform powered by Kubernetes that wants to help you build, modernize, deploy applications at scale. As of today, you can consume Red Hat OpenShift on any of the public clouds, as well as on a self-managed basis, giving you the flexibility you need to run and manage applications everywhere without the need for rebuilding them. So, with our Open Hybrid Cloud strategy, we plan to tackle three main areas which are provided in this slide. Platform consistency, unified experience, and security everywhere. What do we mean with these terms? We want you to be able to have a, plat a consistent plan platform experience, no matter if you choose the cloud or the edge, so on any footprint. We also want you to have a unified experience, no matter your role within your organization, no matter if you, have, if you are a data scientist, machine learning engineer, data engineer, or part of the DevOps team, the experience is uniform, unified. And lastly, security everywhere. We want you to be able to run your application securely from the conception to the production phase, accounting for both internal and industry standards. So with this information in mind, let's now take a closer look to the actual Red Hat Open Hybrid Cloud platform, our strategy and its components. So at the heart of the experience, we have the OCP, the OpenShift Container Platform, which is Red Hat's distribution of Kubernetes built on top of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux CoreOS. The platform provides you with the opportunity to have automated upgrades and installations on a variety of footprints. But on top of this, you can also benefit from different services, platform services, application services, developer and data services that all help you easily or like reducing the complexity of managing and running your applications. At the same time, we're also aware that customers' needs have been evolving over time. Enterprise need more and more to accelerate and scale the deployment, the development, the management of their applications, and at the same time, managing security, compliance, costs. And that's where OpenShift Platform Plus comes into play, as you can see from the top of the slide. OpenShift Platform Plus is comprised by the OpenShift Container Platform, OCP, by the Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management, ACM, Red Hat Advanced Cluster, uh, Cluster Security, ACS, Quay as our registry, and OpenShift Data Foundation, ODF. So all these five, when integrated, allow you to uh, address multi-cluster security, multi-cluster data management, multi-cluster application, compliance and governance, allowing you to easily manage the increasing number of clusters also in multiple environments. So you can see OPP, OpenShift Platform Plus, as a unified platform where you can manage all and address all your registry needs, data management needs, security risks under one roof. So and with this information in mind, let's now take a closer look at our values. So over to you, Naina. Thank you, Vanessa. So Red Hat OpenShift enables open hybrid cloud with open source and partnerships at heart. At Red Hat, we don't, don't just follow the crowd, we lead it. That's why everything in Red Hat and OpenShift um, is done upstream first because we believe that open communities drive innovation, and it's been our culture's core pillar since day one. With OpenShift and its various offerings, um, we have got all the bells and whistles that you need to build, test, deploy 
um, your applications, and plus all these features are done upstream projects, so you know you are getting the best of the best. We would like to give a shout out to all your contributors out there. You are the real rock stars. At OpenShift, we believe in the power of partnerships. That's why we have built a thriving ecosystem of partners who help us provide customers uh, with the flexibility they need. One of the ways we do this is through the Red Hat Marketplace, which simplifies the entire process of trying, buying, deploying, and updating, and paying for ISV services. It's like having your own personal shopping experience for enterprise software. But we are not stopping there. Uh, we are constantly expanding our list of partners across a range of categories, from ML, uh, AI ML to observability, from security um, to data services, to hope that all your unique needs could be fulfilled by our partners. We are thrilled to have such a diverse range of customers using OpenShift to power their businesses. As you can see from the logos on this slide, we work with companies of all sizes and across a variety of industries. Thank you so much for putting your trust in us. So where are we taking OpenShift Open Hybrid Cloud, you may ask? We are taking it toward a highly observable, flexible, and secure multi-cluster platform. Our vision is centered around consolidating our service-centric solutions around the hybrid and multi-cloud uh, with the ultimate goal of providing services on the distributed edge. In short, our vision is all about putting our customers first and providing them with the tools and services they need to succeed in today's ever-changing technology landscape. The current wave of digital transformation across all industries has led to a significant increase in the deployment of cores and clusters. And as a result, customers have rapidly evolving needs. Uh, to meet these changing needs, we have been working hard on our fleet multi-cluster experience. This means providing customers with a single, highly observable hybrid cloud platform that enables them to securely build, deploy um, observable, uh, security build, deploy, and run and manage applications at scale. Whether you are just managing one cluster or dozens of clusters, our goal is to provide a seamless experience with all the tools you need to need to get the job done. So what do we mean by you can quickly identify and resolve issues while also gaining insights into your overall infrastructure, as Vanessa was saying, because now you can both zoom out for multi-cluster view and zoom in for individual cluster view. And how do we do this? Uh, that, I'll hand it over to Vanessa. Thank you, Naina. So let's deep dive on the value of observability to consolidate your in-cluster experience. But first thing, I would like to define what we mean with observability here. Observability is about correlating various sources so that you can answer any questions you might have about your running system, assisting you in resolving issues within your system, but also optimizing it. And that's where OpenShift observability becomes an asset. OpenShift observability aims at turning your data into answers. So we're putting more and more equal emphasis on the so-called five pillars of OpenShift observability, data collection, data storage, data delivery, data visualization, and data analytics. What can you do with OpenShift observability today? You can collect metrics with Prometheus, logs with Vector, traces with OpenTelemetry. You can also store metrics with Prometheus and Thanos, logs with Loki, and traces with Jaeger and Elasticsearch. The data delivery piece is very fundamental in our experience. Why? Because we want you to be able to access the observability signals you need when you need them. No matter if it's aggregated data, historical data, real-time data, the data is readily available for your further exploration. And after, the data delivery pillar is where visualization and analytics come into play. So what can you do in terms of visualization today? You can access our out-of-the-box experience and full support in the OpenShift Web Console. We have an observe section where you can perform some data analytics tasks, searching, filtering, querying, but also visualizing metrics, metrics targets, and logs. So this experience is available in both developer and admin perspectives of the OpenShift Web Console. 
So, based on this information, what does the roadmap look like uh, for 2023 and beyond around OpenShift observability? So, we have three key roadmap teams here. One of them being decreasing the mean time to detection and resolution for our OpenShift users. So, around that, we have a key core initiative, which is about providing a correlation experience to you. When I mean correlation, I talk about correlation across observability signals, meaning you will be able to jump from one signal to another in few clicks, for instance, starting from an alert, going to the equivalent log to the equivalent uh, metric so that you can reduce the time you spend troubleshooting individual clusters. So we plan to provide this experience within our OpenShift web console so th that you can easily visualize the relationships between this signal. Stay tuned for that. Second roadmap team that we have is to provide you with a unified and simplified observability experience across any footprint, cloud, edge, on-premises. And we have a series of initiatives around that. Uh, I've mentioned here three specifically. So one of them is providing you with a distributed tracing UI so that you can explore and visualize traces directly in the OpenShift Web Console. That's our missing third observability pillar in terms of visualization experience, so we are fulfilling this gap. Second, we are also working toward improving and enhancing the current dashboard UI experience in the OpenShift Web Console. So we want to gradually enable different data sources and also plan on enhancing different functionalities to give you more freedom on what you want to see and how you want to uh, filter it. And lastly, we are working to simplify our data collection experience. So we are working on our observability operator so that you can adjust what exactly you want to collect. Also, stay tuned for that. It's a very cool feature. And lastly, our third observ over observability roadmap team is about increasing flexibility. This is a high-level objective that we have because we are aware of the importance of third-party integration, but also to fulfill all of your user needs here. So we continue to provide support for additional log forwarders. With Login 5.7 coming up soon, uh, you will be able to have support for syslog, but also HTTP targets coming soon. We're also looking into multi-cluster logging. As we have heard the customer needs, the importance of looking at your whole fleet also from a logging perspective. So when mentioning and talking about observability, I cannot not mention network observability, which went GA with OpenShift 4.12, and it's available for any supported versions of OpenShift 4.10 or newer. So network observability is an optional operator that fits very well into the greater ecosystem of observability that I've just talked about with logs, metrics, and traces. Network observability uses an eBPF agent to collect metrics on cluster nodes and answer different questions, as you can see here from the six pillars of network observability. So pretty much what we can say here is that network observability allows you to gain insights around your network traffic, but also it enables network capacity planning. It uh, helps you troubleshooting networking issues, but also identify security issues in cooperation with the advanced cluster security. And it also provides visibility on traffic flows. We have a brand new feature into our network traffic UI uh, that allows you to view our topology view to exactly visualize those flows. So, what does the journey ahead look like for network observability? So, as you can see from the slide, we find a recurring theme that we've seen with OpenShift observability, which is learning more and more out of the data. As you can see from stage three and four, the goal of the team is to learn from data, so start identifying unknown issues with AI, but also suggest you with action items, as well as provide you with a feedback loop. So, going beyond observability as stages for highlights. So it's a long journey ahead. However, the team is already working on a bunch of initiatives around this objective. I would like to mention two. One of them is multi-cluster observability. Second, provide more and more metrics and dashboards, both in the midterm and long term. For instance, in the long term, the team plans to work on simplified views to help you answer cluster connectivity queries in a more intuitive way. But also in the long term, the team plans to provide host interface metrics, which are key for telco. And lastly, I would like to wrap up the observability section by mentioning Red Hat Insights for OpenShift. So Red Hat Insights for OpenShift is available for both OpenShift managed and on-premises customers. It is included within the OpenShift subscription as part of the console of services, and you can answer so many different questions, as you can see from the slide. Business questions, operations questions, security questions. For example, Insights cost management allow you to better track your cost, to have visibility, making sure that your costs do not go unchecked, providing you with a visible overview of the cost of running OpenShift. 
insights advisor instead is the heart of operations to improve your operational stability and performance. The heart of the insights advisor is recommendations, with the recommendations that are based on both OpenShift infrastructure and service layers, so that you can also have a proposed solution to your issue, but at the same time understanding how many clusters are affected by that recommendations, the type of risk, whether it's an important moderate risk. So a very cool feature. So let's deep dive now into the roadmap around Red Hat Insights for OpenShift. We have two key roadmap teams here, one of them being expanding Insights cost management, transforming it from a reporting tool into a recommendation tool. And around that, we have four key initiatives that I would like to highlight. First being, in Q2 this year, the team plans to provide a preview of resource optimization for OpenShift, so you will be able to access recommendation for cluster sizes, but also best size pods. Very cool. Second, also you will be able to attribute additional costs such as GPU, storage, uh, networking, because it's important to say that of course we have the computing cost and also costs related to hyperscale marketplace services, but when on the cloud there are additional costs that need to be tracked and those are very key for that. We also have a new initiative cost model 2.0 that the team plans to uh, also release to simplify the creation of custom models for you, but also to add new cost and distribution types, new categories that's planned for Q3 plus this year. And lastly, sustainability. The team plans to provide a release of uh, the possibility to you to uh, assess the environmental cost of your workload with CO2 uh, reporting. So considering that sustainability has been a hot topic for quite some time now and it's becoming more and more important. Lastly, second roadmap team that we have is provide and focus on intelligence, guidance, and remediation. So we have three initiatives around this objective, two in regards to the insights advisor that I've just described with the recommendations. One of them is about providing you with on-demand insights analysis, which means that you can get immediate feedback for cluster adjustments, so to assess better the impact of your configuration changes in few clicks. This is planned for Q2 this year. For Q3 this year, also the team plans to release a preview of the Insights Advisor OpenShift upgrade risks. So you will have uh, the, the, the opportunity to access upgrade risks prediction, um, making sure that you understand the impact of that um, um, upgrade. Uh, also the blockers, for instance, whether you have specific alerts or specific op operator conditions, and you are also suggested with the right recommendation around this, how to deal with the upgrade. And lastly, the team provides uh, plans to provide an OpenShift fleet insights view in integrated to with uh, the advanced cluster management that's planned for Q3 plus this year. And this wants to provide you with an operational summary of all your clusters health. So in a snapshot, very important for the fleet. So pretty much what we can say here, observability is a superpower. Observability is a key differentiator of the OpenShift experience. And as we saw, there are some recurring teams, one of them being multi-cluster. And that leads me to the next section of the presentation. So over to you, Nena. Thank you, Vanessa. After this zoom in and zoom out experience, let's learn a little bit more about the multi-cluster layer. We have Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management, um, Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security, and Red Hat Quay. Let's take a look at the priorities for each of them this year. Every single time. <laughs> okay. It doesn't like me anymore. Uh, Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management is the solution to simplify operation and maintenance of your Kubernetes clusters. With ACM, you can view, manage, operate, and solve issues all through a single console that runs seamlessly on OpenShift, and it can also be easily integrated with other enterprise tools. ACM is a proven solution that provides transparency on your multi-cluster lifecycle. You can centrally create, update, and even delete your Kubernetes clusters across multiple private and public clouds as well as search, find, modify any Kubernetes resources across the entire domain. And if an issue arises, you can quickly troubleshoot and resolve them across your federated domain. RHACM allows a hub and spoke architecture where all configurations are managed by the hub cluster component. Um, and spoke Kubernetes can be seamlessly added and deleted from the central hub. It also comes with a rich API add-ons, and can integrate with some key enterprise tools, making it a tightly integrated solution for your cluster management. 
Right. ACM, we are keeping the theme of three. The three priorities for OpenShift and infrastructure. In, the first is the OpenShift and infrastructure enhancements. Uh, and this includes HyperShift, which is a hosted control planes and OpenShift cluster manager integration with the goals of cost saving, um, speed of creating new clusters, and multi-tenancy. And other topic is Mutanix infrastructure support in the assisted installer service. Second is day two management capabilities that involve right sizing recommendations for Kubernetes capacity planning. Um, the fine grain RBAC for observability, a new templ templatized policies and application sets delivered as pull model. Now this removed the dependency on connectivity to the managed cluster. And the third is management at the edge and scale and scale. The initiatives for this topic are providing device edge management and delivering OpenShift with a policy view and search. Let's move over to Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security. Uh, ACS is the key that offers security throughout the application lifecycle. And the business value it offers beyond protection can be classified into three groups. The first is faster time to resolution. Uh, this includes implementing more effective prioritization workflows, creating feedback loops early and often, and improving data quality to limit manual work. The second group is about breaking down the cross-functional barriers. It provides guidance through your everyday activities and enable collaboration via a shared language and enforcing security with minimal outages. And the third group is about how it bridges the skill and the concept gap by simplifying adoption with standardized patterns, providing you with a mature incident response and letting you implement a more informed risk management for an overall better incident management policy. When it comes to security innovation, we are working on some more superpowers for you. So under security innovation, we are looking for vulnerability management. Our scanner will give you the power of the X revision. It can now scan full RHCOS nodes and even separate CVEs by areas of concern. This means app dev teams can focus on workload CVEs, while cluster admins tackle platform and node CVEs. We are also adding data about known exploits to make it easier to um, spot vulnerabilities that are ripe for exploitation. And with better download option for vulnerability reports, you can share info in whatever format you like, CSV, PDF. Probably not hero graphics yet, if that's your thing. Trending and metrics. Our team plans to add historical metrics and risk indicator widgets to help you keep a finger on the pulse of your security performance. Think of it as a built-in heart monitor for your IT infrastructure. Shift left, left network policy is another cool tech preview feature that helps developers auto-generate Kubernetes network policies as part of their CI CD process. With this tool in hand, developers can compare the generated policies with the policies required for their enterprises that meet the needs for the enterprise. Uh, we are extending ACS to cloud services. Uh, field trial is ongoing, and if you are interested, please reach out to your accounts team. And that's just the beginning. We are also working on simplifying the policies for you and working on the portfolio integration, a tighter integration with compliance as policy, mapping OpenShift to ACS roles, and expanding our ACS support, support to IBM Power, IBM Z. And we are also working on providing common scanner across ACS and Quay. I will just quickly cover Red Hat Quay since our time is up. The Quay is the central source of truth for all your containerized software needs. Imagine having a single place to store and govern all your container image, making it easier to manage and distribute your apps across your organization. The roadmap themes for it, uh, first we are focusing on running Quay seamlessly on and with OpenShift container platform. The second is supporting the disconnected OCP clusters for all our air-gapped customers. And third is better support for your large deployments. So you have a better control over your multi-tenant uh, deployments. Melissa. 
So let's wrap up the presentation for today with a sneak peek into the near future as we have also introduced at the beginning of the presentation. So first of all, stay tuned for OpenShift 4.13 coming soon. Also, a presentation with more product manager is being organized now, so stay tuned for that. You will hear all details that you need across all these areas in OpenShift. But this is a, a sneak peek that we want to provide you with uh, today, and I would like to mention a couple of those around the Hybrid Cloud Experience and OpenShift Platform Plus area, one of them being around observability, of course, which we saw before. So as an OpenShift administrator with uh, OpenShift 4.13, Login 5.7, you will be able to create alerting rules based on logs. So stay tuned for that with full support in the OpenShift Web Console. That's a feature that I wanted to highlight. A second feature that I would like to highlight is about the advanced cluster security, so specifically the Network Graph 2.0. Uh, so Network Graph in ACS allow you to better visualize the uh, networking security issues, the networking security risks. And with this new release, there are more crisp graphs, a better user navigation. So if you want to check it out, that is a good chance. Uh, for core platform and developer tools, and as you can see, we are running off the page here. But I would like to mention the support OpenShift 4 on Snow on ARM battle metal, and shared VPC support for GCP, developer preview of Istio, Ambient Mesh, and I know people are looking for that, Argo rollout for GitOps, and integrated serverless function experience through Dev Console. There is much more. Um, I will take you to the Delco and Edge. So we are working on MicroShift x86 x x x tech preview. Uh, basic support for Microsoft on ARM, and for managed services, OpenShift is coming on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure near you. Interested in learning more about OpenShift? I hope we have inspired today and that you would like to come and browse our demos, our documentation, and even take OpenShift on a test drive. Well, thank you so much for your attention today. I hope you enjoyed the session and will seek us out if you have any questions. And Stay tuned for more sessions. Thank, Thank you. you.